Friends, you please welcome on stage Wayne Blackburn. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, on behalf of the Wild Petition, I'd like to thank you for coming. It's great to see a good turnout. I'm quite emotional right now because I'm so angry and so upset at the fact that we're having to have this in 2013. Over 10,000 people have died within six weeks of being put through work capability assessment. Now I'm not asking you to consider whether it had a causal effect, although many of us feel that it has. What I'm asking you to consider is whether it is right that so many people are being made to undertake this intrusive and abusive test in the last weeks of their lives. What I'd also like to think about is the people who are having to take multiple work capability assessments within a few weeks of the last. It is torturing people. It is making them ill and it is causing true hardship. It's important to remember that work capability assessment has been called to be scrapped by the British Medical Association and the Royal College of Nurses amongst many other organisations. Why aren't the government listening to them? Now I represent the World Petition and as you know we need 100,000 signatures to encourage a debate in the House of Commons. But we don't want to wait for that. We don't want to wait to be given the opportunity. We need it now. So along with disabled people against the cuts, we are Spartacus, Black Triangle, Pat's Petition and other disability rights groups. We are organising a summit meeting in London in the coming weeks to which notable influential guests have been invited to help us agree a roadmap to a, to a better and fairer way where all political parties have far, so far failed us. Our summit meeting will seek to identify how we could move forward to be proposing a robust, workable and fairer way as an alternative to the failed work capability assessments and of course ATOS Healthcare who have administered these disgraceful assessments. We want to help to find the better, fairer way our politicians claim they seek. Finally, I just want to say that many of us have spoken to people that we're thinking of today. Many of us have known them and they're in our thoughts. Let's use that to go forward, to once again vow to continue to fight against the work capability assessment, against ATOS, and against everything that's been put against disabled people right now. Thank you very much.